my previous videos, now uh, we have looked into the load runner architecture, we have understood the, the various components of the load runner, how they interact with each other, and what are LGs and all that. Now we'll start getting into the SAP part. We'll start getting into the SAP part. So the first thing, okay, before we start creating the scripts on the SAP application, the very first thing that you need to understand is the SAP architecture. So the SAP is the application under test now for us. So as a performance tester, it is imperative for us to understand uh, the architecture of the SAP, uh, sorry, architecture of the application under test. It is extremely important because the bottlenecks are available or the bottlenecks are present in the application and performance tester, as a performance tester, we have to identify those bottlenecks and without understanding the architecture of application and the test, we'll not be able to identify the bottlenecks. Not only that, it's a very important interview question as to what is the SAP architecture is like, because if you say that you have worked on SAP applications, the first question the interviewer might ask is, what is the architecture of SAP application? Because as a performance tester, you are supposed to know it because you are there to identify the bottlenecks and bottlenecks can be identified uh, only if you understand the architecture. So for the same reason, we, we first try to understand the architecture of the SAP application. Then we'll go ahead and see what is that we need to install uh, uh, for accessing the SAP. And uh, we'll go through, uh, go through some flows to get a feel for what it is like, you know, uh, 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 transacting with the uh, SAP servers from the SAP GUI or uh, how to navigate uh, on the SAP GUI. And then we'll go ahead and create the scripts. So first, SAP architecture. So before we understand the SAP architecture, let's look at a typical entire architecture, what it looks like for the web applications. Okay, I, I know we are deviating and we are not talking about SAP here, we are talking about web applications. But first, let me introduce what it is like, you know, since you have already, you know, if you have already worked on Load Runner, most likely it could be in web applications. So you would be aware of this architecture. So that's where I'm starting it over here. That's why I want to start it from this entire architecture for web applications. Or even if you have taken one of my previous courses, uh, I've extensively covered, I've spent like three to four, uh, maybe close to 10 videos only on the architecture, on the entire architecture. So I'm sure if you have taken my previous course or you have worked uh, on uh, on the load runner for web applications you are aware of this entire architecture so that's that's why i wanted to start with the entire architecture and then uh, i'll show you how similar the sap architecture is for the entire architecture entire architecture in fact it is um, the sap architecture is much simpler than the entire architecture for a typical entire architecture, what would you have is a web server, app server, and a database server, or you could have both this web server, app server together and have a web app server. So from the client, the request first will go to the web server from there. If required, it will go to the app server. And if, if that request has anything to do with the database, so it will go query the database and get the results of the database. And once the processing is done on the app server, it will send the response back to the web server and back to the client. For example, you're launching um, any application, let's say you're launching a Facebook, okay, saying www.facebook.com, a request is sent to the web server of the Facebook, then it goes to the app server. In this case, you know, it, it doesn't have anything to do, do with the database, so it will not fire any query on the database, so the request is not sent to the database. Here the request will be processed by the app server itself, the, the Facebook launch page will be built by the app server along with the help of the web server and finally the response will be sent back to the client and this is when you will be able to see the Facebook launch page. Now, as a user, you enter the username, enter the password, click on the login button. As soon as you click on the login button, a request is again sent to the web server, which is sent to the app server. But this time around, it will fire a query on the database to see what is the actual username and password of yours. And then uh, it will get the results of that username, actual username and password. It will compare with the username and password that you entered on the front end. And if it's all good, then it will build the login page for you and send or or the wall is what you call it and build the wall and send the response back to you and that is when you will be able to see your wall so like this the request uh, you, as you send the request all these servers will coordinate with each other communicate with each other and work with each other so that it can send the response back to you 
this is how a typical entire architecture looks like this is how a typical entire architecture looks like for the web applications now that here we are not dealing with web applications this is a sap uh, application sap uh, application and we are accessing not through web not through web but with the sap gui so we wouldn't have any web server here because they, it's not web it is sap gui we are talking about so but you would have the app server and the database server so what you have over here is what you have over here for the sap applications is you just have uh, you just have you just have a app server and database server and from the client you send the request to the app server and then the request is sent to the database server if required the database server will send the response back to the app server which will send it back to the client so this is what you have it for the web application this is what you have it for uh, sorry not web application for sap gui application so this is what an sap architecture looks like just from the sap uh, from the client you would send a request to the app server and then the request if required go to the database server and comes back to the app server and comes back to the client this is a very very simple architecture but we'll see the same architecture uh, uh, over here uh, which is published by the sap guys okay don't get overwhelmed by looking at it don't get overwhelmed by looking at it if you just pay a little bit of attention it is straightforward this is the application server okay so <clears throat> you don't have one application server but you have multiple application server one is for erp one is for cr sap erp one is for sap crm and others okay so sap erp is what we are here for okay learning performance testing for sap erp application so let's concentrate only on this app server so the request first goes to this app server and uh, sap doesn't just have erp but it doesn't it does have other stuff as well so for the other stuff like crm they have their own servers but here for our performance testing let's say we are doing the performance testing for erp so let's consider only the app server for erp let's not consider any of these servers like you know bw servers third party applications and all this it is irrelevant for us because our our performance testing is on this erp now <coughs> the request goes to this erp application okay and typically any sap transaction it has to do with the data itself it has to do with the data so first the request goes to the app server and since most of your requests are related to the data then the request will go to the database so you see this is the database layer so this is the application server layer and you have different application servers for different uh, stuff like crms bws and other stuff but here our concentration is on the erp so let's concentrate or let's uh, minimize our discussion for this erps only okay now now so now the request goes to this app server from this app server the request now if required it has this request has anything to do with the data it will go to this database server okay and you pay a little bit of attention on this database layer the database layer here is the new database or what they are calling this new database as hana database okay earlier it was a different database but recently they have updated the database they have updated the database and they are calling this as hana hana database or the new database so don't don't get overwhelmed if somebody ask you have you worked on sap hana yes you can say that it you have worked on it because from the client point of view it doesn't matter what's there in the database from the client's point of view it is still same you will be able to see the same screens so you will be able to see everything same so what is this hana what is this hana hana is nothing but high performance analytical appliance what is this hana hana is the high performance analytical appliance high performance analytical appliance okay a n stands for analytical a stands for uh, uh, appliance and h stands for high performance so the old database the performance was pretty good but they have updated that database uh, so that you know the performance improves so the performance of the database improves or improved so they are calling this as high performance analytical uh, appliance high performance h analytical an and appliance a so that's what is the hana so the now the processing of the data is happening very very fastly using this database okay so that's what is hana so what is happening and don't worry about it i'll cover that later okay <clears throat> 
Now, what you will do as a performance tester is, you, let's say this is the performance just, uh, tester's machine. We call this as a client machine. On this client machine, on this client machine, you install something called SAP Logon Launchpad. I'll show you in my later videos how to install that. But as a performance tester, to access the SAP or to connect to this application server, first what you have to do, you have to install this SAP Logon Launchpad. And once you install this SAP Logon Launchpad, now you have the capability to send the request to this SAP servers. You have the capability to send the request to this SAP servers. So once you log in, what you're doing, you're sending a request and the request first goes to the app server. It doesn't go to the database server. It goes to the, it goes to the app server. The request first goes to the app server. And from there, and from there, now if required, then the request will go to the database server, which is the HANA server, which is the HANA server, SAP HANA server. And the HANA server will send the response back to, to my application server and the application server will send the response back to you and you will be able to see that data over here. So this is a very, very simple application. Again, I'm telling you how you can access from your client machine, from the performance testers client machine, how you will be able to access this app server, how you will be able to send the request to the app server. It is not possible directly because since this is not a web application, uh, you will not be able to send the request from the browsers. So for the same reason, you are installing something called SAP Logon Launchpad. And from here, once you install, now you have the capability to send the request to the application servers. If this was anything to do with the web, so you need not have to any, install anything like this. From the browsers, you will be able to send the request. But this is not web application. This is the SAP GUI. So you have to install this SAP Logon Launchpad. And now you have the capability to connect to the app server. Now you can send the request. Anything you, anything you do on this SAP Logon, uh, the request will be sent to the app server and the app server will send the request to the database server which they are calling these days as SAP HANA servers high performance analyt uh, uh, analytical appliance server okay or simple words it's a database server okay so now the request uh, the response will send back to this app server and the app server will send the response back to your logon launchpad and this is when you will be able to see the response so this is all good Kumar so but what is this so some people, like especially the SAP experts, they wanted to connect to this database directly and they wanted to uh, create some reports or do some analysis and all that. So for them, they can connect directly to this high performance analytical appliance database or the new database or SAP HANA server. They will be able to connect with any of these modes. You can connect from an MS Excel and they can connect to this and get the data that they wanted or analytical office. Okay. This is another client using which they can connect to the database and get the data, whatever they want. So they can bypass this application server, connect to this database and get the data, whatever they want using one of those modes. Popularly, what I heard is they use the crystal reports. They, they connect to the database, get all the data and using this crystal reports, they will be doing further analysis on the data. So to connect, to get the data, connect to this database and get the data for further analysis, they can directly connect. There is an opportunity to directly connect to this database using any one of these clients. So usually that's not what we performance, we don't do performance testing for that. And that doesn't usually fall into our uh, uh, scope of performance testing. Our scope is to send the request and make sure the request goes to the app server database server and send the response back and see how much time it has taken for the request to go to the app server to the database server then back to the app server back to your launchpad or in other words get the response times for this particular transaction so this is what a simple SAP architecture looks like and I'm sure it is not at all complicated you can draw this picture don't worry about drawing all this okay so you can draw a simple app server you can put uh, in, in case the interviewer asks you to draw the architecture it is simple request for a pen and a paper and draw draw the client and make sure you uh, make sure you say that you, you have to install SAP logon launchpad and then draw the app server for the ERP and then the HANA server okay then draw these two lines and that's good enough. Just ignore all this. And then you can say that the database can be connected through the other clients like Crystal Reports or Excel or any other clients. So this should be good enough uh, for the interviews. And now you've got a ballpark idea as to what the architecture looks like. Now, 
the next video what i'm going to show you is how to install this sap logon launchpad on your desktops so thank you guys for listening to this video so we'll look into the next video